Greetings. Nowadays, a lot of people suffer due to the use of unsafe water. So I'm here today because I want to help those people and make a difference in this world. Water is the most basic of all needs. We cannot live for more than a few days without it. And yet, most people take water for granted. We waste water needlessly and don't realize that clean water is a very limited resource. More than one billion people around the world have no access to safe, clean drinking water. And over 2.5 billion do not have adequate sanitation service. Over 2 million people die each year because of unsafe water. And most of them are children. This quote is by Robert Unearther, and it fits perfectly in my topic. Now, some of you might wonder, what is the actual problem? Well, the problem, as I said before, is the fact that a lot of people struggle to access the quantity and quality of water they need for living. That is why I came up with this solution. So first, how does my brain work? I analyze things, and then I research, and then I solve. I'll tell you a story. So you see, one time, I was on the way, we were on the way to my grandmother's house, and by the side there was a river. In the river, I saw a guy, he was peeing in the water, and I was like, meh, let them be. That's the only thing people does to that river anyways here in Madagascar. So I continued, the way continued, and I saw a bunch of ladies washing their clothes on the same source of river. And I was like, so they're basically washing their clothes with pee. And I was like, ew, don't you all, aren't you all disgusted about that? Would you wear a clothes if it was washed by pee? Would you? No. Exactly. So I didn't do anything yet. I continued saying, let them be, because I was not a lifesaver. I'm not a lifesaver. And that was my, my, my mistake. I cannot stay here and say, let them be, because as me, I like helping people, and I hate seeing them suffer. As the road went on, I saw two guys. They were sort of washing their faces, taking a shower on the river, on the same river that was polluted by the guy. The other guy was drinking that water. That's even worse than washing your clothes with pee. And then I was sad. Why? Because they do not know that they can get sick because of that or even die. They also don't know that it's not clean. So I had to come up with a solution. And just yesterday, I met, I met someone who also already had his, a nice way to clean water. He's already very advanced, but I'm still a child, so I'm still doing my own way. And um, yes, a lot of people indeed already has inventions to clean water and so on. But mine is different. Why? Because mine is five in one. What do I mean with that? Well, this tank can one, clean water, collect rain, two, dig in groundwater, three, clean the water, and four, it functions automatically, and five, it's effortless. What do I mean with effortless? Nowadays, a lot of people actually need efforts to go walk so far and get water. Well, this is my invention. I will not go deep about it. I'll not go about to, uh, in details because I will not have enough time, but you, if you want more details, you can come to me. So. There are all filtering steps on the side, which you can see there's sandstone, coarse sand, charcoal, fine sand, and a net. These each have their functions, which I'm not going to be explaining their use, because I'll waste my time. And so, why do we have to clean the water before using it? Because it's dirty due to that guy polluting the water, or every other people who pollutes the water. And the other side, there is the tube. It can stretch very long. I'm still not going to go into details. But this can adapt to any type of soil. So you do not need to mind if, for example, your soil is very rocky or fine sand or anything. And yes, some of you around here might ask, I'm going to be wasting electricity. But no, since I know that here in Madagascar, the electricity is kind of a bit of a problem. So I had to find an idea, which was renewable energy. And so, this is everything that is automatic in here is powered by a battery, which is powered by a solar panel, and it works by the sunlight. So, yes, there's a, a water detector on that water driller bit over there. And yes, since it's automatic, it's going to immediately stop when it detects water and soak it and clean it. I have one more question, but before that, I want to show you a little prototype I made. This is just the filtering steps which it works, but I just forgot to bring the dirty water and show you all. But yes, in the future, you can guarantee, I can guarantee that I'm going to show you that it works. I can also drink it if you want to see me drink it. And so, in this water, in this, about this tank, this can hold 10,000 liters of water, and some people boils 
to all of you who has filtering, uh, filter, water filters at home, some of you boils them like me sometimes. We boil the water after it's filtered. But since it's still a sketch, I can think of adding a fast boiling system under the net. So it will be effortless, as I said. One more question. Do you all realize that we should help those people who suffer nowadays, especially in Madagascar, because they also deserve to live healthy? Do you? So, moving mountains is pretty hard, but once you start, you cannot go back anymore. I already did my first step, which is this invention over here. It might help some people, and it might not help some people. Maybe because of how they think, but everyone has their opinion. This invention may, be lead, may lead me somewhere far, and I decided to take a shot. So, feel free to come along with me, because I want to save the world, and together, we can all do it. But remember, everyone's lives matter. So if you want to change someone's lives, do it. If you have an opinion, share it, because everyone suffers nowadays. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you learned a thing or two that can help you anywhere and anytime. Thank you.